<laughs> Good morning, Dana. What isn't infrastructure these days? I can tell you what court packing is, though. It will be the end of the Supreme Court's legitimacy and the end of the rule of law in America. One reason uh, that we respect the rule of law is that our Constitution created an independent judiciary to protect the rights of Americans and to create a final tribunal. And that tribunal makes its decisions in accordance with the law and the statute, the statutes and previous cases. But if the Democrats simply want to expand the court to add four new liberal justices, because that's the current deficit they would need to make up to get Democratic uh, appointed justices in control of the committee, the court will lose all legitimacy. That's what Justice Stephen Breyer said just a couple weeks ago. That's what the late, great Justice Ginsburg said a few years ago. Even Joe Biden has taken this position repeatedly in the past. So President Biden and every single Democrat needs to be asked and must answer whether they support this radical proposal that would fundamentally alter the structure of American law and life. Senator Tom, Co I mean, it's uh, Trace Gallagher here. I, I'm, I'm curious because Andy McCarthy really did make a good point there about the fact that they know this is not going to pass, at least right now. Maybe this is all about trying to intimidate the court, not really get this thing passed, not pack the court, but intimidate the court there is now. Trace, I think Andy is on to something there. The Democrats have a very bad habit of trying to intimidate the court. Chuck Schumer just last year went over and stood on the steps of the Supreme Court and threatened justices by name that they were going to reap the whirlwind if they ruled in a way that he did not favor. So much so that the Chief Justice even rebuked uh, political actors who engage in that kind of action. Look, it, it is fine to criticize Supreme Court decision. Heavens knows, I criticize mm -hmm. plenty of them. But to take actions to suggest you're going to expand the court right. or you're going to constrict their rules uh, really is a way to try to intimidate the justices into the Democrats' favorite rulings. Again, that's why it's so important that Joe Biden, Chuck Schumer, and Nancy Pelosi, and every Democrat be pushed to answer on this question whether or not they favor fundamentally altering the rule of law in America by altering the Supreme Court's composition, something we haven't done in more than 150 years.